<laughs> hey guys. So I'm going to wait for some peeps to come on. I'm coming on a little bit early because um, at 6 o'clock, I'm going to have my girlfriend, Laura Vasquez, come on. And this is the first episode of my second season. Woo -woo! I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been waiting for a little while because it was last summer that I did my podcast, Inspired Like Me. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining you guys. I love it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I've got a bunch of questions and stuff that a lot of you have already asked written down, but please keep writing, um, keep writing in. And Laura and I are going to talk a lot about a lot of different stuff. Um, oh, there's my girlfriend. Hi, Linz. <laughs> um, and then we're going to get to the Lost World stuff at the very end because there is we could go on for days and days and days and days about that so um if you're in los angeles cheers it's after five o'clock somewhere in the world so drink up <gasps> hi <laughs> um yeah and then so um when laura comes in um i'll invite her in and bear with me, you guys, please bear with me because this is the first time that I've done an Instagram live video feed. And I think that I might have to alter a few things. So just bear with me, please. <laughs> and I just hope my battery stays charged the entire time. Um, let's see here. Oh my God, you guys are already writing questions in. I love it. I'm going to answer some because there's some that are like directed towards me. Um, oy vey. Did the exposure of the body bother you in some works like The Lost World? And, um, exp no, nah, not really. I mean, I've, I was raised in Hawaii until I was like eight. So I was running around half naked most of my life. <laughs> it really wasn't that big of a deal. And most of the time it was so hot and sweaty there. Um, yeah, it was, I was lucky to be wearing that. And then the other half of the time, everybody else was lucky because they were able to wear thermals underneath their outfits. I couldn't do that. Okay, so we'll just wait for Laura to come on. Laura Vasquez, so she played a Psy on um, tr uh, the entire season uh, or seasons of The Lost World. I think she was in four episodes. Um, she played my best friend on, this, on the show and there's a bunch of questions and stuff for her too. She was also um, on a series called Home and Away, um, which is a very, very well-known series go live with Laura okay. at her in a sec We're waiting for her um and she was on Lost World she was on Beastmaster and speaking of I'm gonna have Daniel Goddard who was on Beastmaster hi this is <laughs> I finally found a way to so beautiful I, I alighted. I've, I'm the same as you. I'm like trying to press these buttons and go, okay, which one do I do? Which one do I? I'm like so bad at um, technology. Oh, well, anyway, Instagram. Well, Insta you've been doing yours. You've been having your Instagram live feeds, and I've been watching those. And I'm like, oh, she knows how to do this already. I'm, I'm terrible real, at it. Oh my God, no, I've still made mistakes. I'm like, sometimes I'm there and I can't get my guest on or I can't. But hey, we're getting there. We're learning. How okay, are you okay. doing? Okay, so okay, good. I don't feel so bad. I don't feel so bad. And I, I mean, I know that it's 10 o'clock in the morning there, but it's 6 o'clock here, so I'm drinking. <laughs> I've, just my, I've just had my cup of coffee. Okay. Well, you're getting your caffeine, and I'm getting my booze fix. So I get a I, I just was looking at some people are coming on from Brazil. That's like, oh me. my gosh, that's, yeah. that's me. That's near where I was born in Argentina. It's amazing how, oh my gosh. you know, yeah, it's amazing how the lost world made it all the way to Brazil. I'm oh, so it's of it. real. I've got some of my most biggest fans from Brazil. Oh, wow. And so, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions. There's um, from Brazil. They want to know if you're, if you've ever been to Brazil or if you want to go to Brazil or anything. So oh, your wow. family is from Brazil? 
from Argentina. I was born in Argentina. Oh my gosh. So, so my parents my parents are Paraguayan, which is right. Paraguay is also near Brazil. And uh -huh. my brother and I were both born in Argentina. So I've never been to Brazil. I've always wanted to go. Oh um, my gosh. Now you're gonna have a whole other fan club. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and also and also I just have to say that we've got some UK fans that it's two o'clock two o'clock in the morning I there. Know. They have waited up all morning to watch oh us. My so God. So hello to Hi, all the UK, from the UK people. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know I felt so bad. I'm like, no, go to sleep. You can watch it later on. But oh, they're like, oh my god. They, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Well, yeah, because I can save this and I'm gonna put it on my feed. So, awesome. so That's yeah. Um, but I was just telling everybody that, uh, like, I was telling everybody a little bit about you. So you were on, you were acting um, yeah. for quite some time in your life, or at least when I knew you back in the day. Um, yep. And you were on Home and Away. That's right. For, from 93 to 2005. That's a long time. Yeah, I, actually, I was on from 93 till 95. That's the era I was on. I did go back, though, a okay. couple of times. That's probably why you thought Oh, right, yeah, because I was looking at your IMDb, and it says you were yeah. like, wow, she was on that for a lot longer than yeah, I Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I did. I went back for a couple of episodes, so like special episodes, the 4,000 right. episodes. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. And then you did yeah. Beastmaster. Yes, on, I like an episode, and I'm I'm actually Daniel's coming on in like two weeks. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, he's been on a show here. He's been on Young and the Restless here for about fourteen years, and he is not on that anymore. And he's doing a lot of his other stuff. But I'll talk about him when he's on. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. But now you're a makeup artist, and you've been working on Home and Away for how long? Um, I've been working um in the makeup department now for. It's going to be my fifth year, and now I'm actually the head of department there. So, oh, my God! Um, yes. So, yes, very exciting, very exciting. So um, we're on we're on break at the moment because of... Yeah, um, so tell me about what is going on down there. I want to know everything. Like, did you guys... Like, how long have you guys been kiboshed for? Okay, so I think we're going into now our fourth or fifth week where we haven't been shooting. Uh -huh. Um so pretty much, yeah, that much. So we're just waiting. Um, we should be going back soon once they put all the protocols in um, in place. Um, so it's going to be a different way of filming. It's it's not going to be the same as it was for a while, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, less people on set, um, actors, different script writing, you know, the, you know, there won't be so, like kissing scenes and things like that. And so um, yeah. it will be interesting, but it will also be good to be back i think everyone's kind of you know looking forward to being creative again oh i think everybody's looking forward to get getting back to work yeah i think this is i mean my opinion i think it's gonna last for a little bit longer but then i think everybody's gonna like deep dive and want to go back to work so badly that i think that we're going to be inundated with work thank god i hope so yeah well i, I don't know about you guys in america but here in australia they're already um it's uh you're allowed to now visit Two people are allowed to visit people, so yeah, so oh, okay, not a, without it's, any it's, like masks on or anything like without that. any masks on. So you can go, I think it's two adults, and if you have children, you're allowed to go and visit. Um, yeah, they've they've stopped some restrictions, not not fully yet, but but it's easing right. here in Australia, so they're getting well, on top of it. I must say, it's it's good to be Australian, um, they're, they're doing a great job over here. Um, yeah, so not so, so much over here. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I mean, heard. they're protesting at the beaches. It's wow. because it's Americans are saying, you know, that's our our freedom to go out of our homes. You don't have the right to tell us what to do, kind of a thing. Yeah, so, yeah. And I think people are just getting really frustrated. I, and I'm, I, I like all of us. I mean, you know, we're we need to be social. We need that, it's a tribal instinct, you know, where we need to have that interaction with one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been it, it's been nice at the same time. I think um, it's been good for the soul. Um, I know with Absolutely. me, it's been really nice to be with my family. My yeah. kids are homeschooling. My husband. Yeah, what's um, going on with um, homeschooling and stuff there? Yeah. I, I honest to God, I had my kids for an entire month, and I yeah. loved it. 
I yeah. mean, I'm just thanking my lucky stars. I've got smart kids and they're not little. <laughs> yes, exactly. I know. I, cause I've heard so many stories from friends that have got little kids and it's been hard. It's been yeah. hard for them to kind of, you know, do the homeschool with me. Both my kids are teenagers. I've got a 16 year old and a 13 year old. So they've been, you know, they've been great. They've just been doing their, their homeschooling, you know, um, it's been going great. Um, they're enjoying being at home as well with, with mum and dad. Yeah. So, um, we're loving it. We're just making the most oh, of it. Good. Yeah, because once I go back to work, you know, it's all systems go. So I'm just making yeah. the most of the quality time and, and spending time with my family, which is which yeah. is Well, and that's special. I mean, yeah. it, all of this stuff is so unprecedented. Even though it's difficult, you have to look on the bright side of things, like being able to spend that much time with your kids again, even though you're working. But if you can be lucky enough to be able to work from home, and have your kids there too, even though they hate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, so it's so, how, so when do you see yourself going back? Um, look, I think they're looking at end of this month. Um, that's what um, the rumor is at the moment. Um, so they're just organizing everything. They're starting to slowly organize everything and going back. So um, yeah, we, we'll be given two weeks notice so everyone can get prepared. Um, you oh, know. they told you that? Yeah, yeah. So um, okay. there, there has been a few productions still going here in Australia. Right. Um, I think oh. you know, they've worked around it, you know. Right. So um, as I said, it'll be a whole different ball game. You know, we'll, you know, we'll be wearing masks. There'll only be yeah. probably two, two cast members at a time in makeup rooms. Um, everything will be, you know, we're, we're already in makeup rooms. We are very good at, you know, cleaning, disinfecting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everyone, has own, everyone has their own makeup and brushes, things like that. So we'll right, just, right, right. You know, just, you know, it'll just be caution. You know, everyone will be getting temperature checks before they go into oh, the building gosh, or yeah. on set. So, you know. We yeah, just we've been, I've been talking to a lot of people in the business and we're always just kind of wondering how in the world it's going to change. I, I mean, I know it's going to change. I've got a girlfriend who's in craft services. But she's like a private chef. Yep. So that's a little bit different, but there's not going to be tables set up anymore with us just to dive into anything. You know, I think it's going to be a lot of sealed, like airplane type food and stuff. Yes. Is what well, that's, no! <laughs> that's what exactly what we had the week before they shut, shut us down. Um, we, we had packed, like lunches, um, everyone was being served by the caterers. We weren't allowed to, t you know, go up and oh, serve oh. ourselves. So yeah, it, a lot of things are going to change. Um, but you know, I guess we just have to. I mean, well, for, we for the sake to. of everyone. Yeah, we have to. We have to. And then I think that things will eventually go back to normal. I keep saying yeah. to everybody, you know, it's it's everybody's on such a, a heightened anxiety level right now. But I mean, look what happened when. HIV and AIDS came out, you know, and everybody was so worried about all of that. And then, you know, you start to learn a lot more about the, you know, the yeah. virus and what's going on with it and how it works. And I think, I think we'll be okay. It's just a yeah. matter of time. And that's the yeah. worst part is not knowing when everything's going to get back to normal. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, and it's also just so sad, um, you know, with, with what's going on with, you know, for a lot of people that have lost family members and friends. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have to think about think about them as well during this time, yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's. Um, I want to talk to you about makeup before we get into yes. the Lost World stuff because yes. there's so many questions that I've been inundated with about the Lost oh. World. So we'll get yes. on that. One. I mean, you and I can talk about that forever. But oh. um, um, no, I want to talk about makeup and beauty stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah, go go for it. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> okay, so like, what's your most favorite? Um, hair product right now. Oh, hair product. Yes. Um, or well, hair company. Hair company. I do love a lot of um, the Knack. It's an Australian brand. I do love a lot of their products that I use, their shampoos, conditioners, masks, and hair products. Okay. Um, yeah, that's one that I like. And then um, what are you doing? Like, what, what's your advice for girls like me who have to get their hair colored? Like, I'm <laughs> doing mine out of a box. Now. Don't, don't try and no, not. It's, it's the worst. I was like, 
I was like, oh my God, I can't believe how well this turned out. I know, I know. I actually had to, I actually did it as well, but I usually don't um, use box dye because it's yeah. not good for me. Yeah. Um, if you can hold out and wait till hairdress, I mean, I know here in Australia, hairdressers are already back working. I think they just have one client at a time, but you can book to get your hair done now. So if you can wait or, you know, book a private, you know, wait till you get back because it, it does strip your hair, box dyes, and it yeah. never comes out the same colour that you that is on the box. And as well, you'll just oh, have a never. Band. You'll have a band of a different yes. colour and the hair. Oh, yeah, so, mine's there. I've got to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can hold out, hold out and wait till, you know, you can get to a, hair, a professional Okay, hair. okay. What about putty? <laughs> what about, because, I mean, I need mine short, like, <laughs> Do you just like recommend to go in or just leave that too? Yeah, yeah. leave that too. Recommend to go into a professional hairdresser and get it cut. Don't do it okay. yourself. You'll regret it. Okay. <laughs> and then you have to wait a long time till it grows out till you can fix it again and that's okay, not right. <laughs> I know. I've had friends like posting these memes saying, should I let my 12 year old cut my hair or not? <laughs> Oh yeah. Everyone's going crazy with the hair. What, what is your favorite makeup that your oh, favorite makeup line that you're using right now? Okay, so foundations usually my favorite, and we use this on on Home and Away as well. But I also use it on myself. Is the Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation? Ah, uh, some of my girlfriends have been using that, and they are like, I love this. I don't. Yeah, I tried it. It's um, there's not enough coverage. For me. Oh, okay. You can because build it's it. really sheen, but it gives a really nice yeah. glow. Yeah, it gives a really nice glow. There's also another one that's good is the um, the NARS Sheer Glow. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one. And um, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation. That's got a really, if you want coverage, the yeah. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, um, Flawless Foundation okay. is really flat and um, good coverage. Okay. Um, do you like, because I've seen a lot of... Um, friends who are in the business use like the airbrush type makeup and yes. they look flawless. Yeah, that's I'm so tempted to get my own system because yes. their makeup looks so good and it it goes on evenly and the way that it glows and it just stays on like that you all day. Can build it as well as well. You can build it. You so can you build, build it. Right. You get, until you get the right amount that you want. Do you guys use that on set? No, we don't use that, but um, but I have I have used it before, and it is it is good. So if you're thinking yeah. of getting one, yeah, it just takes more time than you know if you just quickly brush it on. That's the only thing. I know. Yeah. So in the mornings, if you're in a rush, you're just like, get it <laughs> well, because don't you have to clean the whole system inside? You have to clean every it every single well. time. Yes. You have to disinfect yeah. it and clean it every time after you use it. Yeah. As well. Oh, screw that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tips are you doing right now um at, at home I mean with me it's been so nice not to wear makeup I've been like yeah. great I don't have to wear makeup around that it's been I've been it's been nice to give my skin a break yeah that's but really it's also been nice to put makeup on for stuff like this I'm like oh hello, yeah. there you are <laughs> I know it is it's so much fun yeah but no um I've been letting my skin breathe as well during yeah. this isolation time I've been doing lots of exfoliating um masks face masks as I've well got a crown <laughs> yeah, I can see a little blue. It's the light. Is that? is that light coming yeah, from? Yeah, I just have no idea where it's coming from. Ooh, it's the ghost. It's gone. No, it's behind your head now. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's joining us. <laughs> um, yeah, just face masks um, um, and um, exfoliating the skin, cleansing, yeah. just letting it breathe as well. Like you said, n not wearing any makeup. Yeah. Um, you know, for lives and I stuff know, like you that. You guys are opposite seasons. So you're going into your winter. Winter. Yep. Right now. I mean, right now, I almost took you out on my patio, but it's so bloody hot. I was just like, and the light was like right on my face. I was like, yeah, like you set it up. It's so pretty. And it was just way too bloody hot out there. So yeah, like so you, you, you've got your singlet on and I've got a jumper on because it's so I know. <laughs> That's so funny. Now, yeah. so your kids are in school though right now because I know that there's also yeah. how, how kids have school where it's um, down in Australia there. You guys don't do where you guys have three or four months of a break. 
right? It's like you guys no. have two big breaks. That's right, yeah. Right. So they're in school at the moment. They've just gone back this week, I think. This week's their oh, first so week. Oh, they had some time off. They had some time off. They had two weeks off because okay. it's the, it was the Easter break. It was during it. Easter. Oh, right. Well, we have spring break and stuff here too. Yeah, my boys only had a week off and they're on alternate schedules now. So, yeah. So, yeah. Are you, so, are your girls doing um, their... High school. They're, but they're, are they, they're doing everything like on Zoom with their teachers? Yes, yeah. yes. online on Zoom with their teachers and um, they give them set, they set work for them and then they just do it and sometimes they'll have um, some meetings with their teachers as well with the whole classroom. But it's not always, like they'll do their own, they'll do right, their own same work. Right, here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so, working out the same, that's good. Yeah. Do, I mean, do they like it or are they... Like, because I know that there's a lot of kids that it's really, and a lot of parents too, where it's, it, it's a lot of anxiety that they yeah, have to deal with. I mean, I thank God I've got two and mine are older, like I said, but there was a, I've seen, like, there's some, some parents who have four kids and they've really only got like two computers in the house. So they don't know how to deal with all of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's been um, the only difficult thing that I've, I've found with my daughters, especially my eldest, she's in year 11, so it's her second She'll be in year 12 next year, which will be her final year. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so with her, you know, it's getting harder and they're having a lot of assessments and exams. So, um, yeah, she's finding it. She's getting a little bit anxious about that because, um, you, know, you know, they've got a lot of big exams coming up. and They're not able to be at the school. They've got to right. kind of work themselves. Right, right, right. Um, but other than that, they're, they're going okay. They're actually, as I said, they're actually loving homeschooling from home yeah. <laughs> and not having to go to school so um i think they miss their friends but yeah mine do too to mine do too yeah. yeah i think they were really i mean mine uh my older son just went into his freshman year in high school so yeah. he misses like being on his baseball team and my younger one they were playing hockey and they were going to the finals and then all of that stuff just got a, a kibosh on all of it yeah so i know that they're really bummed but um, with me, I was like, I was really worried at first with them yeah. being at home in the school and I got really sick. I got the flu for like 10 days oh. when they were here with me. And I was just like, thank you God that they are at their age and they were able to do everything. And, after them. Yeah. Yeah. So, look after themselves and look after you as well. You know. Oh, well, I just, I, I didn't know what I had and I went and got a COVID test yeah. two weeks ago just to make sure. <laughs> You know, I wanted to make sure that it was because everybody was like, oh, are you sure you don't have COVID? Yeah, <laughs> like, I, know. I had no respiratory scary. issues whatsoever. And I know my body really well. I knew that I didn't have COVID and I knew that it was just a really, really bad. I mean, I haven't been sick. I can't even remember the last time I was that sick. Yeah. I, mean, I, I lost, I was, I didn't eat for 10 days. I was, I was really, I lost a lot of weight. It was not good luck. <laughs> that's that's scary as well. It was time. very scary. I think everyone, as soon as they get a cough or a sore throat, they're like, "Oh my gosh!" Right. You know, the first thing you right. think of. And then my kids are at home with me, so what we did is I kept them for a month just to make sure that they didn't get it because yeah. I, we didn't want them to take it to their dad's house. So cool. you know, and thank God, I everybody was fine, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm a bit of a clean freak. So. Yes, <laughs> I was like Cloroxing everything that I touched. And every I can, time I went out of the room, you know, you yeah. kind of have to do that right now. You don't, yeah. we don't yeah. know. So, well, that's good that it wasn't anything serious. Oh my God, I know. Okay, I'm going to yeah. look at all these questions because yeah. we're getting like seriously <laughs> invaded with like Lost World. Lost World. world. Yeah. Oh, okay. God, it's so funny just looking even at old photos, Jen. It just took me back to that. I that, know. That wonderful time when we shot the pilot, you know. What, what an exciting time it was for us all. Well, okay, so here's one. How was the mood behind the scenes? And I'm going to let you answer a bunch of stuff like this, too, because there's yeah, a lot yeah, that are directed yeah. towards both of us and some towards yeah. me. But, like, what yeah. was your experience working on the show? Oh, uh, it was such – I just remember going into the the final read before well, – actually, I wasn't cast yet, but I was flown to oh, the Oh, yeah, Gulf. so well, you guys were already – I want to know the casting process with you. Yeah, so you guys were already – cast yeah. um you and rachel and um will snow wasn't cast it was me and will snow we got we got flown over from sydney right 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 yeah so so um okay, we big, yes, yeah. but i think they kind of had us already in mind because we went over to the gold coast they did our 
they did our wardrobe fitting. We met the production team. Oh, we met, right. Okay. Yeah, we met you guys and we had a little line run thing. And so it kind of, Will and I were like, this is like we've already got the part. Like we were like, they haven't told us we've got the part, but you know, we <laughs> are, they've flown us over, they've put, put us up in a really nice hotel. Yeah. You know, meeting the cast, we're meeting the production company. Um, so, um, so yeah, so that was the first step. Then we went back to Sydney and then probably got a call because there was an audition process first. I think I went in twice in Sydney first. And then we got the call that we got the part. So then right. we, of course, Will and I, you know, both um, got the roles. So we came over to the Gold Coast once we started shooting. And, um, oh, that's right. Yeah, was, I was living in Sydney too, I think. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Okay. I think um, Rach was coming from Melbourne. Was Rach in Melbourne, I think, maybe? Um, well, she was living on the, she was on the Gold Coast. She was already on the Gold Coast. Yeah, okay. I think. I think. Yeah, okay. don't don't mark um, me on that. Yeah. But, but maybe for Melbourne, yeah. Yeah, but it was such. I have such great memories. I had such a ball on working on the show and working with all. I mean, we all became so close. So I know. Quick, we. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, and that we was another them. thing is that people there. They wanted to know, like, what was the mood behind the scenes and what was it like working with one another and. Um, you know, what kind of camaraderie that we had. And I think the reason why the show worked so well was because we all genuinely loved working with everybody. Yes. And just being there. And I think we felt so fortunate to mm. have that. It was it was yes. kind of magical. And you don't get that a lot. You know, no, it was the right it was group exactly. of people. It was magical. That's the perfect yeah. word. Because even the crew... Um, yeah. such wonderful crew that we you know some of us are still in touch with the, to this day um just yeah it was magical and it was yeah. such a it was such a great show and so many different um you know um I, I, for you guys as you continued on you had so many different guest characters come on the show and mm -hmm. you probably met so many actors from australia as well i think oh every, my God. We, every we, single we cycle People. Yeah, I think every single Australian actor. We did. We got everybody. Yeah. Every good Australian actor, even the bad ones. We got some yeah. bad ones. But. Yeah, it's, it's so true because every time I'm working with someone, they're like, oh, my God, I did a guest role on, on The Lost World. And I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. It was it was a great. Um, it was it was actually great for for the industry in Australia at the time as well yeah. because, um, you know, on the Gold Coast there were so many shows like The Lost Order and Beastmaster that were being sh and Flipper. So a lot of Australian actors had a lot of work at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it was great. It was really um, well. But then uh, afterwards, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing for years, and then again, now it's been inundated where. Yeah, we can't even get into the studios because yeah. everybody, every Australian actor wants to shoot down there now and stay down there. And I'm like, I, that's why I want to come back. I like, yeah. I want to go back and shoot there. Yeah, and it must have been for you as well a great experience coming from America to live in the on the Gold Coast because it's oh so beautiful. My, you know, I, I'll never forget. Like I was, I was 24 years old when I booked that, and I saw the sun come up on the water. And it was just like God was talking to me because it was so yeah. beautiful. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, pinch I myself. I will never forget that. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was pretty special. Not, It was a special time in my life, for sure. But I can't believe that it was almost, It was 20 years ago. 20 years ago? What, what the hell? What the hell? We're so old. We need to do a Lost World movie. <laughs> right? Reunite. Reunite everyone. Oh well, my we're, God. we're working on that. We'll see what happens. We're yeah. still working on that. <laughs> oh, my God. No but promises, what about, but... Yeah. What about what we used to... You and I had to wear. Like, everyone else was covered up. Oh Let's talk okay, about... So that's one of the that questions. Out. That's yeah. one, of, what, that was, one of the questions was, like, how did you... How did you prepare your body to get into those outfits because we were pretty much half naked all of the time. And I it's know. like, we didn't have any, we, I had no preparation because when I found out that I, that's booked, right. I was leaving in like a week or two. Yeah. And I had more preparation in between seasons. That's right. Yeah. Because I came back afterwards, like jacked. After Transformation. That. I remember that your body looked insane and it was like, wow. She's just gone. Oh, no, girl. I had like three months and I was like on a mission to, I was like, 
Oh no, my body's gonna look insane. Like <laughs> you, were, you, you like went full on spin class. I remember you were like full I on was in doing spin spinning and yoga and weight training. Like, That's but I was also in my mid twenties with no yeah. injuries, and, no babies, no babies, and all the time in the world, no and no babies. Yeah, yeah. no family. <laughs> it's just me, me myself, yeah. and I. Yeah, you know, to, to do all of that. So I mean, I had the time and the effort, and now even though I still I train like a motherfucker as much as I can still just because I, I never know what I'm going to get. You know, I mean, there's times where I've gotten called in for a shoot and they're like, oh, please bring a bathing suit or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, so, God. And yeah. remember, I remember as well that when we did the pilot, we had like sandals. But then when we came back, you particularly asked for boot for us to have boots because it was so hard running. Well, I, I designed my yes. costume for the seasons two and three because yes. the wet thing had us in. Oh yes. my lord! I well, we were actually in the jungle. Yes, and we're running around the 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 pilot and half of the first season. I was in sandals, and yes. they were literally a piece of plastic. And then they wrapped elastic around my calves that yes. cut circulation to my legs. And I'm like, whose stupid idea was this? I know. No, oh and my you know, god! I don't so know. The seconds in between, I designed my whole costume. I went and got the material for it, everything, just so that I could send it to the producers and get clearance on it because I was in that stuff for, you know. 10 to 15 hours a day and it was really really uncomfortable to be wearing real leather that was in not so comfortable places <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah because the first the, when, the combat series it was just to pick the material like i had a piece of material on the top yes oh my gosh and i remember you trying yeah. to pull it out I remember oh, trying to pick this a piece of material and also with the, I don't know if you remember, but in the pilot as well, I got bitten when we were filming in the junk. I got really bad. I had yes. to go to the doctors and get antibiotics because I don't know you what it was. Right. Yes, all, right. yes, all oh. over my legs. Yeah. So I was really worried about when I went back um, to shoot some more episodes oh, after the right. pilot um, about my legs. But luckily, because you got the boots done, they, they made me some boots as well, which yes. covered, you know. Yes. My well, legs. I was taking a handful of garlic pills, like yeah. big handfuls of garlic pills and vitamins almost on a daily basis. Like I was just like, like handfuls. Yeah. And I swear to God, that's what kept all the, I never hardly ever got bit. Yeah. No, you didn't. In that environment. Yeah. No, I was really, I mean, I, I was spraying myself down too, but all the crew guys, they wore shorts and they were bitten to hell. Uh, and that those sneaky bites don't go away really fast. Uh, they take they, months to go yeah. away. It's not like a mosquito bite over here. And you have like scars for a while as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're nasty. Nasty. They're nasty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um which scene did you like the most? Oh my god. Oh, which scenes? You know, probably the one that, that rings to mind is, remember the scene where we did in the treehouse where the eight men come in and attack us and then they take me? They take me through the roof. <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, Laura's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was probably. Thank God you're so tiny. I know. Like, exactly. Did they, yeah. put you, did they actually grab you or did they put you in the Yeah, they did. Seat? They did. They grabbed me and pulled me through. I guess because I'm small, they probably thought, you know. Yeah, oh, you're all of like, what, 90 pounds? Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that was funny. That was that was a good scene. Um, yeah, that was funny. Any, any scene that involved, you know, the whole cast, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, especially like the Veronica and Asai scenes between us. I know. I, love, I, I love looked it. back because I was trying to find some with us. Yeah. And I felt like we were always hugging and we were hugging. always embracing. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we were always hugging and always like, oh, you know, Veronica. I love, I love you. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, it, yeah they're, they're probably my favorite scenes. What about you? Oh, okay. Oh, my Lord. There's too many. To oh, there's I mean, I literally had to go back and start watching a lot and I forgot a yeah. lot of the stuff we did because it was 20 years ago and so I was just like oh my god yeah that scene oh my because it was we shot six, 
But there was 66 episodes. There, so there was, and they, nowadays, they don't do that. They don't shoot one or two episodes a season. They yes. do like 12 episodes a season or, it depends. There's, there's some like, Grey's Anatomy still shoots something like 22, but I mean, they've been on the air forever. Um, yeah. But nowadays it's different because they, and I kind of wish that it was like, like that back then because I was over there for eight months every yeah. year, which is a really long time for anybody to be gone shooting, shooting something every single year because I was gone from my family and friends and, mm. and it was a long time. There were some days that were really hard for me to get through. I can't you know, because even though it was an amazing show to shoot, it was really difficult too because sure. they worked us. We only had 10 hour turnarounds. Mm. And sometimes we were on set for 15, 16 hours a day. And it was, yeah. so that was hard. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, um, for the most part, God. Yeah. You know what I really loved? I loved this, the, the episodes where we got to play different people. Oh, yes. Because we were playing you different people, a lot. But, with yes. the same, but, with, but with the same characters. Yeah, that's right. You know? So, yeah, those, those were some of my most favorite where we, like, inhabited other people's bodies or we came yeah. these other characters or there was a western that we did that was really fun like all of that kind of stuff where they changed it up on us was yeah. really fun because we got to play um different characters and then of course wear different outfits and i was like oh thank god yes. 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 <laughs> that's right exactly finally <laughs> um okay what else um well, some of the, I saw that some of some people are asking, do you keep in touch with um, Rachel and Will and yeah. and the other cast members? Yeah. I, I, I keep in touch with Jen and Rachel and Will. Um, they're probably the, um, on social media. We always check on, in on each other. And also yeah. a lot of the makeup artists that worked on our show as well. The right. People. Yeah. Well, when I came down there last year, I was able to see you. Yes. And, um, and my best friend Jeff, who was our set nurse, and he's in, he's in actually, I think he's in Melbourne now. I don't think yes. he's in Sydney anymore. I think he moved to Melbourne. Oh, okay. um, and then I, yeah, I went and stayed with Rachel um, on the Gold Coast because she's still living there. And, and all of, so Shaz and V and yes. Mia, and all of our makeup team was there. Yes. And stuff. Yes. Did you so get like, a lot of inspiration from them when you were on the show yes. to be a makeup cool. artist? Well, I my mum was a hairdresser, so she had her own hairdressing salon. So I grew oh, up, okay. I grew up seeing hair and makeup and nails and all that my whole okay. kind of childhood. So I was always interested in glam. Like I always loved playing with makeup and doing hair. Yeah, and yeah. so um, when I was acting, when I was an actress, I I did. I used to love sitting in the makeup room and I'd just watch yeah. everything. I did too. Yeah. Yeah, I was always intrigued and I always wanted to know. I'd always ask questions. Yeah. Um, then after I had my children, um, you know, I just thought I might go and do an actual course and learn yeah. learn it. Because I, I used to do it on my – my friends would always ring me up. Oh, look, can you do my hair? Can you do my makeup? I thought I'll go and learn. And, and, and I got yeah, my and, and be paid to do it. <laughs> and be paid to do it, yeah, and got my qualifications, started my own business. And then, you know, slowly it just started taking off. And that's the direction that I went in because yeah. it, you know, it just, you know, it went really well. And and I love, I love, I love what I do. I love to be, a, I, I love that I'm still in the same industry on the other side now behind the scenes and, you know, um, I just love watching, you know, uh, uh, my clients look at themselves in the mirror once their makeup's done and just like, just feel so good about themselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the question. So there was somebody that asked, um, do you see makeup as a way to modify lives? That's a good question. Yeah, I do. I think, you know, it, you know, it's, it's also a thing. I always believe that, you know, beauty comes from within so you yeah. don't necessarily need makeup to be beautiful some people are made up and are absolutely gorgeous but on the inside they're yeah. not a very nice person yeah but i think it's more of just finding you know just it's, it's more about being a flawless version of yourself so yeah. it's just you know i think some people just feel good about themselves and if they do some people don't like wearing makeup some people feel you know naturally confident to, yeah. to, to not wear any makeup but then there's some people that they feel more confident when they've got a bit of makeup on. So if, if yeah. that's going to make them more confident, I say go for it and, you know, yeah. you know, wear makeup and there's nothing oh, wrong you with you know what? There was one question I wanted to ask you because uh, yes. I started using um, 
Well, I went and got like my eyebrows. Uh, tattooed? Like, yeah, not tattooed, but it's like the razor. And oh, then yes. the spray yeah. fades after a while. Um, and then I, w I found this really great henna where oh, this girl yes. hennaed my eyebrows. And, and that was I better. bought it online myself. And so that's, I've been doing that a lot lately, well, which I well, love. Well, they look great. Yeah, yeah. they look great. Yeah, so I've heard about it because you know they were so thin back in the day. I remember on Lost World we were trying to fill them in, but I mean, back then you know we didn't have the tools that we have now. I know it's like microblading, tattooing, oh, and fake you know, eyelashes, and all of fake this eyelashes. Stuff. We had to put all. I remember my makeup artist Ado. He was like. Yes trying we were like he was he was always like no no, no don't you don't put too much on because <laughs> you don't want to put too much mascara on to make to make it look like i but we had to put makeup on i mean and back then it was film it wasn't digital so they could grade it somewhat but oh, we had to look we had they wanted us to look natural didn't they they didn't want us to look glamorous that was right the thing. Yeah, right. but I was just going through some pictures, and the first like ten episodes of the show, one yes. of the producers wanted to, literally wanted me to look like freaking Barbarella with well, my that's hair. That's right, your hair changed, didn't and it? my hair changed. Yeah, because, and that's it's really funny because nobody, none of the fans have ever asked that, and it's like my hair was naturally curly. I could just like crunch it. That's right. And they wanted me to. They were putting rollers in my hair and. We were in the rainforest. It's humid. It <laughs> rained 90 days out of 130 that we shot for the first season. And I was yeah. like, this isn't going to work. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. It was awful. They fried my hair for the first half to half of that season. And then I finally got my way and said, please just let me do it my way. <laughs> Uh, talk, talking about hair, another little secret that yeah. the viewers won't know as well is because when I did the pilot, my hair was long. Um, okay. When they after the pilot, when we when it went into series and that they asked me back, um, my hair I had cut my hair because ah. you know cut my hair. So they were trying to work out, okay, what I remember what the part of Veronique. What are we going to do? Are we going to put a weft in it? Are we going to put extensions in it? Are we going to? Well, so they anyway, were big on I had a big. I had a that's wig. That's what I thought. Yes. Yeah, because they were yes. big on the, the lace front wigs, which yes. they're great now. Some of the wigs are amazing. Yes. Amazing now. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, but it was, it was, I remember, it was yeah, I remember the girls and Ado working on all the wigs, especially for all of the extras. Oh, my God. Yes, so the many. The amount of work that those guys had to do. Yeah. Just for all of our extras was was unreal. I mean, you you don't have to deal with that so much because no, you're not in an enclosed no. environment, you know. Yeah, we don't. Extras don't. They come in already, like with their makeup and whatever hair done. So well, you we don't, don't have don't. tribal people on your show. Either. No, we don't have tribal people. <laughs> exactly. The only thing that we have is special effects, you know, um, right? Stuff like that, but not not um, tribal people. Yeah. Not eight <laughs> men. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh god. Um yeah. there was something else that was um about that. Oh, this is hilarious. Do your children support your career? I think that might have been towards me. Yeah. Which, you know, it's funny because a lot of <clears throat> my kids could care less. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mom. You know, I'm just mom. They're like yeah. I'll talk about something about something about the business or whatever there and they're like well, mom, you're not, it's not like you're a huge celebrity or anything. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Thanks for, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> That's but, nice. you, but they don't realize any, I mean, they, they know that I'm an actress, but, but I do a lot of other stuff too. Yes. So they support me, but I don't think, I mean, it's not like they were around when the show was on. And they really, it's not like they, they watch the show now. It's, it's, That's right. it's so dated that yes. it's, you know, there's much more popular shows that are on that they watch, you know. That's right. That's right. What do about you? Do you still your have kids? the, yeah, but the same with my kids, you know, they, I mean, they went around, uh, you know, with, growing up when when I was on Home and Away and things like that, um, they, they fully support everything that I do they're just proud of their mom and yeah but at the end of the day you know um I'm just mom and they just want me to be 
just mom, you know. Yeah, what do your girls, <laughs> do your girls want to do? Do they want to get into the business or what do they want to do? I see all these videos of them like dancing and stuff. And they yeah. Wonder, like they, they could definitely segue in, into that. Yeah. Um, they're very creative. My eldest daughter, she loves to sing. She's got a natural talent. Um, so, I mean, whether she does it later on, you know, it, it's something, I mean, they're concentrating on school at the moment. They want to just finish their education and, but we, you know, we will all, always support everything they want to do. My little yeah. one's really tech, like, she's really big on technology and editing and, 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 you know, film stuff. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, you know, they're both very creative. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So. That's a good combo. You know? Yeah, good combo. Yeah, you know, Lucy does all the editing for our videos, like her sister's videos. You know, when Aww. her sister does singing videos, and she'll do my editing for my stuff. So it's great. We're we're a team. You know, my husband's in the music industry, in the music business. So you know, her and uh, uh, Kayla and her dad are always writing music and creating music. So it's it's a very creative family. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Can you still see me? No, I. Because I'm, I'm like, like you. <laughs> Camera, I can see oh, your TV. Okay. I can see your TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell? I left you for a minute. Someone just said, I was nice telling everybody when I signed on, I was nice like, TV. bear with me because I know I'm going to make mistakes here. Yeah. But I did not mean to, I was trying to go into the questions. Okay, that was really weird. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> um, okay, so a few more questions here. Do you keep in touch? We already answered that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you, yeah, and you, you, de you know, you should plan a trip to Brazil, especially if you're from there. Yeah, I can see Do you have any that. family that you know of that's still there? Um, I have a lot of, um, a lot of family in Argentina and Paraguay. Oh. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, all my father's side, all my father's sister's um, nieces and nephews, my grandfather, my father's father is also over there. Um, oh, cool. so, so yeah, so all, all dad's side, um, I have a few of uh, mum's side over there, but mum, most of mum's side is here in Australia. So yeah, okay. so I, I haven't been, I went over there when I went over to Argentina and Paraguay when I was 14, right. um, but I haven't been back cause you know, life takes over and you have a family and then you start working. It's just hard to but one day. Oh, girl, I know. Believe me. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I definitely know how that is. Yeah. I yeah. know. A lot of people are writing in Portuguese. Uh, we don't have a translator, so oh, I don't know no. what they're saying. Do you, do you yeah. know? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I know that. I know Spanish. Yeah, someone just asked if I speak Spanish. Yes, oh, I right. do speak Spanish. Um, uh, do you have parents in Paraguay and Argentina? Um, oh, oh parentes, that means family. Yes, to answer that question, I do have family in Paraguay and Argentina. Well, there you go. I kind of understood that. It's Brazilian. It's Portuguese, but Portuguese is similar to Spanish. Yeah, it's it's so similar. Yes, yeah, so you can try to, like, yeah, translate. Yes. Yeah. I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can understand some things. Oh, um, everybody's yeah. so sweet, though. Like, all of these <laughs> questions. Oh, this is a good one. Has there ever been a rivalry between you and Rachel Blakely? <laughs> oh, my God. No way. You guys no. were like. <laughs> no, we're the best of friends. I mean, you know, it took everybody a little while to kind of find their flow yeah. with the show, you know. Um, and not only that, after we knew everybody's character and how we all worked so well together on the show and stuff, too. Um I, I came in, I was the only American that was on the show. So I, honest to God, I felt like I kind of had to step up to the plate and prove myself because you guys, like Will and Rachel had worked together before. They were on another That's, TV show. Yeah, Pirates, yeah. What was that one called? Oh, Pirates. Pirates. No, something, yeah. See, Pirates so, Tales of the South Sea. Tales, Pir Tales, Tales of the South Sea. Tales, yeah. That's right. Um, and I think that only went for one season, but... But they had worked together previously, and you guys all kind of knew each other. Yeah, I knew Rachel as well, and Will. Yeah, yeah. So I, I felt a little bit more like I was a little bit more outcasted. Yeah. Um, and then I, I did feel like we became closer after seasons two and three, and then especially yeah. after three, we all thought that the show was picked up for four and five. That's why yeah. I, I moved back, and it, it it actually was because our ratings were doing so well. Yes, um, and then there was something within the production companies um, that 
um, that ended up getting it canceled. That, that's why the show didn't keep going. But but we were going to finish out four and five and be able to do, I mean, all, the show was written, all of the storylines and everything were written for all of four and all of five. Um, not the script per se, but the, the outlines of what was happening, the arc of the show and with all the characters and stuff. So. That, must have been, that must have been really sad for all of you guys having to say goodbye to cast and crew at the end. Well, we, we had wrap parties every single year, but we were like, oh, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next year it comes back. And then it just didn't. I mean, I moved back because I was seeing somebody at the time who was nausea. And yeah. I moved back for an entire year <laughs> and I just decided to take a break because because I felt like I just needed some downtime. Yeah. Because I was worked so much. So I took I took almost a year break. Um and then started running out of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I was like wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I better go back home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So then I came back and, and then you know, in between all of that we found out that it wasn't gonna go again, which was which really sucked. But yeah. yeah, so you didn't, so you actually didn't get to say a proper goodbye to everyone there. No. Oh, yeah. But it, you know, that. like, I, like when I came back, it was, when I came back last year, it was so surreal. Yeah. To, to be back up. after 16 or 17 years and see, and to go back to the same place that I lived for so yeah. long. And it was, I felt like I was in a dream, you know, yeah. and I was able to see such close friends that were, and I'm so glad that we've been all able to keep in touch. Thank God, because of technology. You That's know? right. It, it's such a blessing. Even though, you know, I was listening to a pod, Maria Schreiber's podcast today, and even though this is unprecedented times for our generation, we yes. are so incredibly fortunate to have technology and to still be able to communicate with one another and still yes. still be able to socialize like this. Definitely. I mean, that is such a huge blessing in yeah. my book. I, I Definitely. Because, I mean, back then, 20 years ago, we didn't have no media and stuff like that. So we weren't able to do this kind of thing. Yeah. You know, all yeah. phone calls. I know. Everyone had to pick up the phone to talk. Now no one picks <laughs> up the phone anymore. Or, or, like, or the books, the photograph books that we have to yes. go through. I mean, yeah. I, that's why I found all of those pictures. And I know that I've got a ton somewhere yeah. else in my storage, but yeah. I have no idea where they are. They might still be on rolls. <laughs> oh, don't, don't. People will know our ages. I know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. The good old days. Oh, my God, right? Well, yeah. honey, thank you so much for coming on and, oh, and being so my first guest on my second Yay! season. Thank you for asking me to be Yeah. I feel honored. <laughs> well, so I mean, good. you've got so much going on in your life. I mean, and I, know, and, and I know that, you know, so many of our fans wanted to physically see you, you know, oh, like funny. live like that too. So I really, oh, I mean, I know that they're like, they were all up in arms and they were, they were I got inundated with messages and stuff and questions about you and, and the show. Mm -hmm. and, so thank That's you. Great. Thank you. And thank you. It's so great seeing you. I know. Well. You too. You too. So where can everybody find you? What's your handle? Uh, my hand is it's at Laura Vasquez Beauty. That's my at Instagram. Laura, Laura Vasquez Beauty. Laura Vasquez Beauty. It's actually up on the top of on the left hand corner. So if anyone okay. wants to jump on, that's where you'll find me. And you know, I'm always on there. Yeah, posting. and you're giving a lot of live um Yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got too, it. Right? Yeah, I love it. At home. Yeah, at home. So are you doing series. that once a week or what? Yes, once a week. Um, at the moment, most of the home and away ladies are on there. Um, so we've just been catching up and talking about all their beauty because a lot of people request. They always want to know what the the cast, you know, what makeup oh, they course. use. And, you know, um, they're very popular. The home and away um, cast here in Australia. It's a very oh, popular. Oh my gosh! Show. How long has yeah. it been going for? It's been going for like. Oh, more than 30 years i think now yeah. it's 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 massive um well, and it just so you were on it and then way before yeah. that too oh my way goodness. that as well so it's it's a very um big soap opera here in in australia and it just you know it just keeps going and people love it and you know it's great yeah so 
I'm very lucky to be a part of it and you know all those years back then and now again so well, I, I, congrats on you being head of department too. thank you Woo-hoo! thank you so much yeah it's exciting exciting times yes. ahead yay thanks <laughs> yeah. might have to get you over here hey still you know you now. never know <laughs> You never know. You never know. Maybe so, I'll make my way in if they, yeah, need, a, if they need a good start, American. Start learning your Australian accent. Hey, you can be, or you can be the hot, the hot American that you know come to come and battle. You know? Exactly. Yeah. I could exactly. never get down the Aussie accent. I mean, oh, I, I like my slang comes in yeah. when I'm talking to people like your friends, like you. Yes. Like the yes. slang will come in, but the Aussie is I can't quite get. I was just like, yes. it just sounded wrong coming out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. doesn't matter. You can play an American. You can play yeah, a sex American. American that comes and that. visits. You know, you could be the long-lost relative of someone. That's right. Put in yeah. a good word for me. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. All right, honey, I love you so much. I love you, too. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you so much. And, and I hope to talk to you soon. I hope to see you soon. Yes, I hope to see you I soon. I get my, get my butt day. back down to, to yes, Australia. for sure. For sure. All right. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Bye, Jenny. Bye. Bye. How do I sign off on this thing? Okay. And? I think we okay. can press the end. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on my second season. And you're awesome. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. All of your amazing questions. I really appreciate it. And so does Laura. So thank you. My next, let's see, my next interview is next week with Victor Parascos, who was also on The Lost World. He played one of my first love interests, and he is an amazing, amazing guy. He was also 